Maybe there is going to be a way to kind of sneak them in there. I don't know. We'll have to see. Hello, Giska. Aww. The only sad thing is that we can't pet them. Play with them like, like we were. Like we used to with those on the Avon Hawk. I think Kufl just hopes that Mission isn't mad at him, that he got rid of the Giska. He probably grew quite attached to those little guys. But a spaceship is no place for a, a group of, of fast, fastly repopulating little amphibious frog creatures. It's just not done. I think those, yeah, those are the Rectan. Hopefully friendly Rectan. They are the elders. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, come on. Yeah, as I said, this is apparently going to be a, one of those sessions where the game is being difficult. There we go. So, sending Old Man Bindo and HK back to the Ebon Hawk. And they're gone! Disappeared mysteriously. You've got quite a deep voice for it. Oh, there he is. Many hours? Oh, I wish you would have a snack. Sigh. Oh. Wait, you can't go in there alone. What are you doing here? We have had a, a premonition. The Force has given us a vision. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malik himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with dark Jedi. We'll need all the help you can get. I think he would like to have to leave with him. He's going to have a word with 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 Johanny, who's technically not allowed to leave the Evan Hawk. Maybe this is a special case, but still. She came with Jolie, so I think Jolie just kind of took charge. I, I think by now it's not Kanderous anymore who's second in command. It's it's Jolie. So if, if Kufut is gone, Jolie has control of the ship. If Kufut is gone with Jolie, then Kanderous has control of the ship. Nevertheless, we'll deal with Juhani later. Well, he's not insisting on going alone. Lower the shields. <laughs> I don't know what he said, but it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. I can't do it alone. They must come with me. I'm not going to threaten, threaten them just yet. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. More chanting. Didn't know they were simply going to laser it open.
Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastion adjoins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. Malak's mouth, if it can be called that, is disgusting. Disgusting to say the very least. And that's of course foreshadowing. We now apparently know that our... Our Goofus doesn't, but we know that... Apparently Malak has broken Bastila, which is a good thing. Um, because now Goofus can kill her without people questioning his actions. And this is, I think, the first time we've actually seen the Starforge. Look nice. All right, awareness and treat injury. Feeds. How are you with dueling? Let's do that. And powers. I think, yeah, being speedy. Yeah, being speedy should be a good thing. And another one. You can have constitution. You can have more awareness and more treat injury. You can also have... Let's see. 18. Well, in that case... Master Vela. Yeah, this might take a while. <laughs> she hasn't been with us in a while. Um... Mm, let's do one of the offensive ones, which is that slow. Yeah, I don't think anyone has pursued that road, so let's go there. And... Implants for the same reason that we gave it to Jolie. Plague? Goody. Now the problem we're having at this point is I don't think we have any equipment for her. <laughs> Wait a second, by the way, no we don't have any... No, I think... She's going to be allowed to wear a regular... No, I think he's actually going to give her a Dark Jedi. Uh, night robe because he's going to claim that it's that it's everything he has left and that it's her own fault for leaving the Ebon Hawk when she wasn't told to do so just to humiliate her a bit and she can have a Euro band this is all going to be taken away from her as soon as we enter the Ebon Hawk again dueling shield and Energy shield. And she's not allowed to have a lightsaber. Um. That's better, the white vibro sword. She can actually use the wooden war blade if she wants to. That would look interesting. Still, she's going to get the Viper Sword. She's not allowed to have a lightsaber. Looks kind of... looks really good in that Dark Jaya robe, though. Huh. Anyway. What is this place? So I think Gufeth wouldn't really assume that Malak is here. Why would he be? Window, how huh? nice. Oh, droid. It's 
a nice view. How's she doing? Oh, there are more things over there. What are there? Sif Echolite, huh? Cut it out! There we go. There we are. Remains. Why not? Let's, let's, let's take him to view. As I said, brilliant brilliantly done. I like this planet. Now. These appear pretty empty and uninteresting rooms. Let's just go through here and then see where it takes us. I think Kubelis is happy to, to have an opportunity to kill those guys. <laughs> That was plague, I think. Made. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Much obliged. Oh, and another one over here. Yes. And we appear to have reached... No, not a dead end that goes further here. Hello. Oh. Because any of these life support packs come in really handy. Good. It's kind of nice that, that Goofa is able to indulge in his favorite pastime over and over again. Slaughtering whole compounds and stuff. Started with the. Uh... <laughs> I started on Terrace, then the Academy, oh, the, Republic. the Leviathan, I guess, counts, and then there was, of course, the Sith Embassy on Madan. <laughs> A computer? Nobody has got a computer use here. Oh, so we have 70 spikes, this should be doable. Right. Those might be a bit of a problem, but I think both of the guys have both uh, Johanni and Bindo have something against droids, like stun droid or something. I'm pretty sure Bindo does. But. No, I think we can disable them just fine if we get rid of their shields, which we're going to do. Now that should be doable. <laughs> 